Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Alone and today I want to talk about the right click ability as Senyata. Now I've seen a lot of YouTube guys on Oh, you know, you should just use it when you have downtime or whenever you don't left click just right click lol uh, So it's not very in-depth and I thought as a top 500 Senyata I can maybe give some more insight on how the right click is supposed to be used rather than just when you have downtime so this is going to be a pretty easy to go video like I'm not going to go super in depth uh, But I'm going to give you guys three different right clicks and why they're good So the first one is going to be right click angles and why are they good? Well, they keep you safe and they also give you either all charge or picks this is one of the main ways to get free picks before a fight as Senyata. You know in Overwatch League or whenever you see any high tier uh, gameplay from Senyata, they manages to get picks before fight pretty often. Like uh, not every fight at all, but it happens quite frequently when they play that they do get a pick before the fight, either on attack or defense. Now on defense, let's say I'm going to show you a right click angle and what it is. So a right click angle is where you sit far away, for example here from the choke, this is pretty far away. Uh, I'm not front lining in the choke like right here, right? I'm, I'm not sitting here. But I'm sitting right here and you can charge a right click behind a wall and you can peek and shoot that area, for example. This is a right click angle. It is keeping me safe, it's a long angle because your projectile has no fall off damage. You can sit as far away as you possibly want. And you can shoot through this area and then you can go behind, shoot, go behind, shoot. And when the enemy team walks through this choke, right down here, they can get hit by a random one shot in headshot area. Like you see, you see how this thing goes down a bit, you see it goes down. That means that when they walk through here, they will be in headshot range of you shooting that right click, which you're sitting a bit higher up on the high ground you can see like if I shoot now in this area this is headshot range just shooting forward so you wanna always be aiming at the headshot range when you right click there's really no benefit to doing body shots with right clicks at all uh, I mean if it happens it happens but you always wanna try to go for right, uh, headshots so if you sit in this area and you shoot right there that's going to be a perfect right click position to be spamming because they walk through the out of spawn and they go up to the choke and they go through here most of the time. So, you, you know, you can randomly get a pick, you cannot, you can get all charge. Either if you get all charge or if you get a kill, both of them are massively important for your Senyata carry kit. So, that is the first one. And you just have to learn all the different right click angles of your own. It's, it's so many of them that you, you cannot count them. You cannot learn all of them. It is almost impossible I mean there are so many different places you can right click from like just look at this you can crouch here pick up shoot you know there's like so many different places you can sit and you just have to try to be creative like if the enemy team pushes in and you're being pushed you know you want to sit with this mini or something yeah, here you go that you have a right click angle they go up there you have a right click angle like this just try to be creative going to a custom game try to learn the maps as good as possible i think learning the maps as a whole is what will give you the most right click angles you know that you have to your disposal to use whenever you're in game the second one with right click is when your right click spawns i'm going to go to another map actually when i show this because this is very important to know so let's go to hollywood where is hollywood so let's, this is the best one that I like. These, th there's two different doors here on Hollywood. And most people, when they right click, they go here, they don't go up there, they go here, and then they shoot at that door. Because most people walk through that door. If you're, if you're on defense, or sorry, if you're on attack, you're definitely going to go out this door, most of the time. It is just what happens. I don't know why, but people just walk, I mean, I do know why, it's because the path is on the right side. So they will go out here and then they will just go straight to that uh, area right here. And if they would go through this door, they would have to slightly go further, right? So most people will just go through this door. 
But why do you not want to shoot through that door? The reasoning behind it is because most people play Reinhardt in this um, in this uh, patch, and if not, they still have Winston, Diva, all you know. They still have tanks that can soak up the right click, and you rather get a kill than get old charge. Even though old charge is not a bad secondary option, but if, for example, you are facing a Reinhardt, you won't get any old charge if uh, old charge if he holds shield when he goes uh, out of spawn, which a lot of people do. Uh, or if a diva holds matrix, you will neither get any charge. So the reasoning why you shoot at the right door instead of the left one is because on the left door most people go. Meaning the tanks are more likely to go on the left side. But the right door, maybe if, remember there's six people right? If one person goes out the right door, you can kill them. Because they won't be behind Rhine Shield. So let's say everyone goes on the left door except a soldier. And the soldier decides to go the right door. Then he, he's completely alone. He has no shield or anything. And you can just one shot him. So trust me, if you do this, if you go here and you shoot at the door. And by the way, right click takes 3.5 seconds to charge. So whenever it says 4 on the timer, wait just a bit. Uh, like try to uh, time it so it's like four now you charge your right click three two one and then game starts and then you get the perfect timing for when the door opens to charge your right click uh, I guarantee you will get kills like I guarantee it I think that I get a kill like 40% of the time and that is in top 500 right clicking that spawn so whenever there is a spawn if there's only one door on the spawn just Either don't shoot the spawn or uh, and just get a good position in the beginning Because you kind of hey, you're kind of out of position if you do that you're pushed up really far uh, Just get some extra old charge. You have to play with your team a bit So I would advise if there's only one spawn door to not right click the spawn But you if you want to you can still do it and then if you die to it You can get some experience on why you shouldn't do it uh, but if there's two doors Multiple spawns, definitely. Try to learn which one you should shoot at and yeah, just just practice it. So my last advice on when you want to right click is actually mid fight sometimes. There are actually some times when you're in the middle of a fight when you want to charge a right click. So it's not only when it's downtime. If you're facing a Tracer or for example a Lucio who are very hard to hit like they're, they're you know blinking like this 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 not, not up there but you know what I mean like they, they blink around like this and they're very very hard to hit especially a Lucio who can like wall ride you know all, like up like this and, and everywhere they can be very hard to consistently hit and do enough damage to kill them during these fights when I know for example that they are not looking at me, for example, uh, uh, Lucio is wall riding and being really annoying to my team trying to stall a point. I will charge a right click and then just try to wait and then lead the shots into him. Because if I hit two shots, it's better than, you know, missing multiple shots and then finally hitting one shot and then missing one shot. Like having two shots hit of higher burst damage is way better on targets like Lucio and Tracer and stuff like that. Uh, but also, if someone uses their mobility spell that makes them not be able to attack, so for example a reaper, reaper using fade, or what is it called, wraith form, as soon as he does it, start charging a right click, he comes out of it, you shoot. Um, don't wait like for a full charged right click if he's going into wraith form, because a lot of reapers, they go into wraith form for one second to juke you and then they come out. But still, in that time, like, now you're fighting him, he goes into Wraith form, instantly charge, and then you shoot. to so get two shots there. Burst damage. Because the, the shots you shot, shoot during the Wraith form is obviously not gonna do anything. Now, it's the same with Tracer. When he blinks, if he blinks like this, you shoot, you shoot, you shoot, you shoot, you shoot, you shoot. He recalls. There. Two shots. So you don't always want to fully charge your right click. Only charge your right click in the timings where you know you're safe. But you can get some potential burst as soon as they come out of their mobility spell. So for Lucio, it's all the time. Like, he can be a pain in the ass to hit with left clicks. This is a bot, so this is extremely easy to hit. But if he was wall riding around like this, uh, you can just burst him down with a right click. Which is 
Very efficient. Let's see if he can come out. Uh, I really don't know how much these bots move. Probably not that much, actually. But if you just charge a right pick, you can try burst him down. Look at this bot. An evasive god. Um, but yeah, so anytime mid combat, there is someone who uses a mobility spell or mobility ability. It just sounds funny to say mobility ability. Uh, that makes it so you're not in harm. You should definitely charge a right click. So yeah, that is my three times when you want to right click. To recap, right click when someone uses a mobility ability that makes it so you are not in immediate danger or someone is very hard to hit. The second time is right click angles where you want to cheese out alt charge for example i'm sitting right here and i'm peeking around this thing and i'm spamming the choke you know just to sh shoot a right click where i know that the enemy team is going to walk through and get destroyed like that get some alt charge and the third is spawns and another good one for this map for example just an example of spawns two different spawns that snipers or spawn doors rather Snipers and tanks. Lucio, stop. You can shoot through these railings to main, or you can just you can play down here to not get sniped because usually snipers go up there, right? So you wanna sit here, three, two, one, boom, and then you can go back to your team. So that is the three different times I really use right click quite a lot. There might be other times that you can think of. But those are my three main times where you want to right click. So that is going to do it for this video. I hope it was interesting to listen to as a Zen player. Uh, I don't know if I... My credibility is this, I guess. I play a lot of Zenyatta. Been doing for the past couple of seasons. Uh, so yeah, I hope my information has some type of credibility and was useful to you guys. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.